Hello everyone, my name is Ms. Morales and I'm one of the USC College Advisors and today I'm here to show you how to create a CC account. So for those of you guys that don't know what a CC account is, it's an account you have to create in order to apply to any community college in the state of California. So you do have to create an account if you're looking to apply to Cerritos College, Long Beach City College, Cypress, Orange Coast College, any community college in the state of California um, requires you to have this account. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys step by step how to go how to create this account so that once you guys create this account, you guys can go ahead and apply to whatever community college you're of your of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you just so you guys know how to create that account. So most of my students are applying to Long Beach City College. So I'm going to go ahead and use Long Beach City College as an example. So you can just Google LBCC. Um, once you go ahead and click search that up, you're going to go ahead and click this first link. So once you go ahead and click this first link, um, you can go ahead and go to the right hand corner that says apply now. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to go ahead and redirect you to this, this home page. Once you go ahead and get here, you're going to go ahead and click start my application. So it's going to be that very first little box. So like I said, you're first going to go ahead and create a CC account. So you're going to go ahead and create an account. So for some of you guys, um, you guys might already have an account, others of you might not. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I don't have an account because I just want to make sure you guys um, know how to fill it out step by step. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new account and show you guys how to do it. So you'll go ahead and click create an account, begin creating my account. And then you'll just go ahead and start filling this information. So this should take you at the most maybe 15 minutes to create. So just follow along with me. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account as if I was a student and I wanted to apply to Long Beach City College. So just bear with me as I fill all of this personal information. Okay, so this is a really important part. Um, it's going to go ahead and ask you for your social security. So for some, for those that do have social security, you're going to go ahead and click social security and you're going to go ahead and fill those numbers in. Please make sure that you do, um, you have the so your social security correctly. We want to make sure you're not missing or making a mistake with one number. So it's really important that if you do have a card in front of you, you make sure you type it in correctly. We wanna make sure we avoid any other mishaps um, because of one number. So if you have a social security, you're gonna go ahead and type that in. If you have a tax taxpayer identification number, you're gonna go ahead and type that in as well. Let's say for students who do not have a social security or taxpayer identification number, that's totally okay. It does not mean you can't apply to college. Um, there is a box that says check this box if you don't have a social security or a taxpayer identification number. So if you don't have one. Like I said, it's completely fine. You're just going to go ahead and click this box um, and then you can go ahead and click continue. It will not stop you from applying to any community college or any other university. So you're going to go ahead and click continue. And then you're going to go ahead and fill in your email address um, and everything. So we just want to make sure that you guys are using an email that you guys check regularly just in case. We want to make sure you guys don't use your school email just because once you graduate high school, um, that email will no longer be working. So if for whatever reason you forget your username and password and have to retrieve that, we want to make sure you're not getting emails to your school one. So you're going to go ahead and pull all this out. You're going to go ahead and fill in your address. So for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and use Wilson's address. Um, and yeah, so depending on your address, you can just go ahead and fill that. And then you're going to go ahead and create a username. So it's really important that you guys um, that you guys create something you guys are going to remember just because in case, like I said, in case you forget it, you have to be able to retrieve it. So if you have your phone on you and you are creating your account, I would say make sure you're writing it on your notes, you're taking a picture of it, whatever you need to do in order to remember it, 
we just want to make sure you remember and then you're going to go ahead and create a pin so this pin um, could be anything any four numbers Errors. let's see i think i made a mistake on the password And I guess your password can't have your name, so let's think of something else. Okay, and then your pin, like I said, it can be any four numbers. And then you're gonna go ahead and create these security questions. Like I said, in case you forget it, um, I'm just gonna put random answers for this just because I'm creating a fake account. And just, I would say as piece of advice, um, you do wanna make sure you write these questions or take a picture of it, just because if you do, forget it, we wanna make sure you know at least your security questions because oftentimes what happens is that you forget what questions you used. So once you go ahead and do that, you'll click that you're not a robot and you'll go ahead and create your account. So you can't use symbols and your password. Okay, and that's pretty much it when it comes to creating a CC account. So once you go ahead and create that account, you should get an email confirmation that says you successfully created your account. So if you want, you can go ahead and take a picture of this where it has your CC ID. But that's going to be the end of this video when in terms of creating a CC account. So be on the lookout. I'm going to go ahead and create another video specifically on how to apply to Long Beach City College once you gone ahead and created your CC account. So please stay tuned and watch more videos if you need any more help. Have a good day.